The EBF Mayor's Handicap Hurdle is next, two and a half miles, north to 130. And at the top we've got Clue Lara and Pastime Dreamer for Marty Little. Music World, David Hooley, Novastasia Mirasol, James Shea, Parisian Chief for Graham Clutterbuck, and Mazuna Judith and Donna Bell for Alex Cherry. So only seven in this end quarter, small field. They're away and racing. And heading towards the first, the rain has stopped as they get over the first of the 11. It's Novastasia Mirasol for James Shea who's got the lead by a couple of lengths to Dollar Bell in second for Alex Cherry. As they head towards the second of the 11. And Nova Stacey and Mirasol over it in the lead. Dollar Bell second. Pastime Dreamer on the outside third. And the Purple Jacket of Music World is fourth. The second Alex Cherry horse. Mazuna Judith is next. Then Graham Clutterbox Parisian Chief. And finally the only grey in the field. Clune Lara is the back marker. They get down to the third of the 11, and the leader is well clear here. Parisian Chief made a really bad mistake at the back, and is now three lengths adrift off the rest of them. But never Stacey and Mirasol for James Shea is well clear. And those of you been watching on the flat this season would have seen James Shea's horses come with a rattle at the end from the back. This one is doing exactly the opposite. He's going from the front. And never Stacey and Mirasol leading by a good six or seven lengths to Pastime Dreamer. In second, Donna Bell third as they get to the fourth. And Clune Lara, the grey, jumped up into fourth there, ahead of Mizuna Judith and Music World. And Parisian Chief is just the back marker. Their Indian file, the order of the day, then as they head towards the fourth. With Nova Stacey and Mirasol in the lead, head towards the fifth, in fact. Last time Dreamer back in second, Donna Bell third, Clune Lara fourth, Mizuna Judith five, and Where's Music World gone? Music World's disappeared. Well, there we go. That's the first sort of glitch we've had of that type for a long time. We used to have disappearing horses all the time back in SO6. I don't remember seeing too many disappearing horses in SO7, but Music World has got the cloak of invisibility on it at the moment. It's somewhere in between Mizuna Judith and Donna Bell, the two Alex Cherry horses. So those two with the orange sleeves. There is a purple jacketed horse that you can't see in between those two. Whether that one will reappear or not, I don't know. It's got to be in a battle for the finish, which is highly likely because it's a David Hooley hurdler, and they normally do well. This could be quite interesting. This could be a commentary for the ages, this one, if it's in a f tight finish and I can't see it. They get over the sixth, and Nova Station Marisol is in the lead. I have been out for a quick drink on oil after finishing one tonight, but I haven't had that many, honestly. Um, Music World is in the race, but isn't there, is it? I mean, if anybody else can see it, let me know in the forums afterwards, but uh, it's definitely not there. <laughs> He's in down to the final seven furlongs now, and Nova Stacia Mirasol is in the lead. The Grey Clune Lara is second, Donna Bill is third. Then somewhere is the Invisible Music World, and Pastime Dreamer on the inside is next as they get over the eighth. And Nova Stacia Mirasol is in front from Donna Bell second, Clune Lara, Mizuna Judith, then the Invisible Music World, and then Pastime Dreamer, and finally Parisian Chief. They've only got five furlongs to go. They've only got three to get up. This is the third last. And uh, Donna Byrne, Nova Stacia, Mirasol are disputing. I'll have to keep glancing up to that graphic in the corner to see where Music World is supposed to be. At the moment, she's not necessarily that close to leading, so it's not much of a problem. But it's no <laughs> Nova Stacia, Mirasol in front. Now, Parisian Chiefs come through to challenge. Donna Bell is back in third. Music World is after that one in fourth. Clune Lara and Mizuna Judith. Pastime Dream is now the back marker as they come down towards the second last. Parisian Chief lands in front. Nova Station Mirasol is in second. The Invisible Horse is third and maybe closing for all I know. His Parisian Chief now being pressed again by Nova Station Mirasol. Music World is somewhere after that in third as they come down towards the final flight. Running on really well is Pastime Dreamer. Music World has gone into second. Nova Station Mirasol is in the lead. Music World's the challenger, but we can't see her. Pastime Dreamer's back in third. This is incredible. 
Marshall as they come down to the final flight. Nova Station Marissa, I think he's in the lead. Comes to the final flight, takes it in front. Where's Music World? Pastime Dreamers back in third. Nova Station Marissa hanging on. Where's Music World? Is it close? I don't know, but it's second anyway. Nova Station Marissa takes it. The Invisible Music World is second. Pastime Dreamer third, then Parisian Chief. <laughs> well, just when you think things can't get any crazier. Nova Stacia Mirasol is the winner. Music World is second, not even visible on the replay. Pastime Dreamer third for Martin Lee and Prison Chief for Graham Clutterbuck fourth and Clue and Lara was fifth. Now, I'll tell you now, if nobody manages to make a comment about this in the forums, I will know that the league is dead and nobody cares anymore because that is just crazy. The invisible Horse, how close was it in second? Even in, see how far the distance was. Three and three quarter lengths. They got beaten by quite a long way. So, anyway, there you go. Nova Station Marisol for James Shea, the winner.